city and in the territory on west, there's just one way to handle the killers and the spoilers, and that's with a U.S. Marshal and the smell of gun smoke. Starring William Conrad, the story of the violence that moved west with young America, and the story of a man who moved with it. I'm that man, Matt Dillon, United States Marshal. The first man they look for and the last they want to meet. It's a chancy job, and it makes a man watchful and a little lonely. I tell you one thing, Doc. This thing doesn't ride like a feather bed. Well, if your skin's too thin for it, you can always get out and walk. It isn't my skin that bothers, Doc. I can't remember inviting you to come along. That's right, Doc. You didn't. Then why'd you come? Oh, curiosity. You're curious about a sick drover in a trail herd? Uh huh. <laughs> well, you must have a lot of time to waste thinking of things like that. Well, I'm curious any time anybody threatens to kill you if you don't make a cure, Doc. No, Shaw, Matt, that fellow who came after me was just all wrought up. There was nothing to amount to anything. Well, let's say I'm just going along for the ride, then. Any objection? Not if you stay out of my way. Now, there's the herd. I see it. Uh, the cook wagon's over there at the edge of the clearing. I can see that for myself. Oh, you're out, Sheeta, Day, aren't you? Well, I guess you might as well pull up here. Very yeah, well. Uh, I don't see any sick tent. Hey, you the doc? I'm the doc. Where's the sick tent? He ain't no tent, doc. He's yonder. I'll direct you over there. Can you climb on? Climb aboard. You afraid the rest of you will catch it, moving him off this way? Oh, it ain't us the boss is afraid about. It's the cattle. The cattle? Got to keep him penned up. Keep him away. Right over there. Waddell's with him. I'll go get him. Peculiar, Matt. Mighty peculiar. Yeah. You might be glad I came along after all, Doc. Maybe I will at that. Over here! Uh, coming, Matt? Yeah. This way. I'm coming. I'm coming. Yeah, I'm mighty glad to see you, Doc. I'm Hob Waddell. Yeah, I'm Doc Adams. This is Marshal Dillon. Glad to know you. Marshal. Well, now, where's the patient? You're looking at him, Doc. You? You sick? Not me. Right down there. That steer? He's awful sick, Doc. If you don't pull him through, ain't no man in the outfit sure of his pay. What do you mean? He's the lead steer, Doc. The man we ride for sets a terrible store by him. Says he's worth any ten hands he's got. Oh, now, look, I'm not a veterinarian. I, I... know that, Doc. But ain't there something you can do? Well, I would... Well, I'll take a look at him. You fix him up, Doc. There ain't no other way about it. Let me see. If we don't get him back to Texas in good shape... Oh, for heaven's sake, if you don't stop fussing, I won't be able to do anything. Matt! Yeah, Doc? Walk him away with you, will you? He's worse than a first-time father. Yeah, sure. Come on, Waddell. Let's leave Doc alone, huh? You don't need me to help you, Doc? I do not. Come on, Waddell. Well, all right. We'll be over at the cook wagon, Doc. (laughs) 
That must be quite an animal. I tell you, Marshal, there ain't another like old Beller on any trail out of Texas. Old Beller? Oh, yeah, I've heard of him. It'd be surprising if you hadn't. Well, Doc has a way with everything. Animals included. He better have. Tell me, what's so special about that bell steer? Yeah? It's like he's got a human brain twitch those long horns, Marshal. No? Well, that's not always a sure sign of being smart, you know. Yeah, with old Beller, it is. That steer gets a herd of going, heads him up on the trail. Gets him to follow him across streams a man can't hardly get a horse across. Herd beds down nice and... Nice and easy. Just as easy as you please when he stops. Old Bella has some way of dealing with him. I don't know what it is. Keeps him from spooking in the storms. Well, that steer even leads them into pens at Abilene. Now, he sounds like a good sergeant. Old Bella don't take no more nonsense than a sergeant, I'll tell you that. He has the run of the camp. Why, the boys even feed him off in the cook wagon. Well, well Doc will fix him up. Sure do hope so. Charlie. Yes, sir? Give us a couple of mugs of coffee. Yes, Mr. Waddell. Here you are, Mr. Waddell. Thanks, Charlie. I don't mean to go on like an old woman, Marshal. But a steer like old Beller can sure be a problem. Oh, in what way? Well, he's worth a lot of money to any drive. Keeping a herd together like he does. He's always some other outfit trying to get me to sell him. Or they try to steal him. Ain't so sure right now that he ain't been poisoned. Well, who'd want to do that? Why, anybody, just for spite, maybe. Tell you, Marshal, nothing's going right with this whole drive. If I lose that steer, I might as well keep right on going straight north. Uh, Mr. Waddell. What is it, Charlie? Old Beller. I, I wondered how is he... Doc's looking at him. Just don't seem right, him not wandering by the cook wagon. Yeah, better not find out he wandered by here once too often. I don't rightly know what you mean. Ah, here comes Doc. You fix him up, Doc? No, I didn't. You mean you ain't gonna cure him? I don't have to. You mean he's dead? I mean he's cured himself. I never saw such carrying on about a sick animal in my life. Old Beller's all right. Whatever his name is, he's on his feet. He's taking on some feed. Yes, he's all right. Well, what was the matter with him, Doc? Oh, I don't know, Matt. He had something in him he had to get rid of. And like a sensible animal, he laid low until he did. He might have eaten something that poisoned him. So he was poisoned, huh? Now, wait a minute. No, I didn't say that. He, he didn't have the chokes or the heaves. It could have been bloat or, or colic. Or it could have been poisoned. You hear that, Charlie? Yes, Mr. Wardell, I hear. I always know the way he was handing out leftover food to that steer, we'd wind up in trouble. Well, I wouldn't do nothing to hurt old Beller. He likes my cooking. Well, he ain't going to get no more of it. Oh, sure, Mr. Wardell. If you say so, I, I won't feed him no more. You bet you won't. No, sir, I won't. You ain't going to get a chance to. Well, I'll watch it real close. You're through, Charlie. Oh, now, Mr. Wardell. You pack up your gear and get out, Charlie. Well, where'll I go? I don't care where you go. You ain't gonna be hanging around this cook wagon no more, sicking on the lead steer. Now you be out of here by dinner time. And don't you come back. Now here's a. business keeps up like this, Kitty, you'll be able to retire. Well, sometimes I wonder if all this hoorah is worth it. Well, now, the boys swallow a lot of dust on the cattle trail. You wouldn't want them to go thirsty, would you? Oh, no. But I wish they could be a little quieter about how they do their drinking. 
You're not running a church social. Yeah, no. I'll say I'm not. Hello, Marshal. Miss Kitty. Uh, hello, uh, Wendell. Hello, uh, Hob. How's your steer? Well, I tell you, Marshal, is that guy this thing? He's frisking around like he was newborn. He is. Uh, well, Doc will be glad to hear that. He ain't no doctor in the done it. Old Beller, he knowed when he was sick and when he was cured. Hey, Mr. Wardell, I got to talk to Mr. Wardell. Go on, Charlie, you're drunk. Uh, I may be drunk, but I got to talk. Ain't done nothing to old Beller. Ain't no call to make me go. I told you to get... Never fed no poison. Me and that old Lox is friends. Real good friends. Let me come back, Mr. Wardell. Now, look here, you. I'm going to... Let go of him, Wardell. I don't want to see him no more. I said let go of him. All right, Charlie, you better go along. Uh, he ain't got no place to go. Well, uh, you go on over to the livery stable. Moss will put you up for the night. Uh, oh, Bella will be missing me. Go on, Charlie. Uh, all right, Marshal. All right, but there ain't no right in it. There ain't no right in it. <sighs> he really feels bad, doesn't he? He don't deserve no better. Maybe not. But he sure doesn't deserve any worse. Ain't no right about it. Take me from old Beller. Sleep him in liver stables when I ought to be... Oh, sorry, mister. That's all right, old timer. Well, now, if it ain't old Charlie Bat. Who are you? Why, you remember me, Charlie. Ab Slate. We was on the drive together last time you come up. Ab Slate? Sure, Charlie. You remember me, all right. I seen you on the cook wagon. Yeah, that's where I would have been, all right. You used to give scraps and such to that lead steer. Old Beller. Sure, old Beller. I... I heard about the bad deal they give you, Charlie. Uh, crooked deal. You know, ain't, ain't nobody got no call to make you leave that ox. Ain't nobody can take care of him like you, Charlie. Now, that's a fact. That's a sure and certain fact. He ain't gonna get along so good if you ain't there now, is he, Charlie? Uh, nobody takes care like me, for sure and for certain. That's what I say. Yeah, that's what I say. Seems like... We ought to do something about it. Do something? To help that lead steer. You want to do that? Oh, want to help old Beller. Sure you do. That ox needs you. Old Beller needs old Charlie. Gonna help him. That's right, Charlie. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Let's go help old Beller right now. you, Mr. Dillon, if there's one thing that sure does seem like a waste of time, it's washing winders. Uh-huh. Wash a winder and ain't no time at all till it's dirty again, just as dirty as it ever was. Yeah. Seems to me that when a fella got to inventing things, you do something about winders. Don't it seem that way to you, Mr. Dillon? What? What, what was that, Chester? I say... Don't it seem like to you that a fella could invent a winner that was nice and dark so that it wouldn't show up the dirt? <laughs> well, you'd tell me what's wrong with that idea, would you? Wrong with it? Don't see a thing in the world wrong with it, Mr. Dunn. Well, you couldn't see through the window, either. Mm. Well, maybe so, but there sure ought to be something that... <laughs> Look at there. What? Oh, Charlie Bat. Looks like he's coming in here. My goodness, he's gone and got himself drunk again. He's just a weaving all over the street. No, he ain't. No, he ain't either, Mr. Dunn. He's hurt. Look. Uh, Marshal. Uh, Marshal Dillon. Here, let me give you a hand, Charlie. Got a chair, Chester. Yes, sir. Oh, oh. Uh, 
Marshal Dillon, I got to talk to you. What happened to you, Charlie? You got to go after him, Marshal. You got to get him quick. Tell me what happened. Uh, I've been a fool, Marshal. I wouldn't have done it if I had a new All one. All right, Charlie, just settle down. I'll start from the beginning. Well, Marshal, last night I got myself pretty liquored up. Yeah? And when I come out of the long branch and started down the stable, he was there, just like he was awaiting. Who was there? Why, uh, Ab Slate. Go on. Well, he, he talked to me some. Seems like he was the only one in the country with a good word for old Charlie Vatt. Well, go on, Charlie. What happened then? Well, Ab said I ought to do something for old Bella. That nobody could take care of that steer but me. So we, we went out to the herd and got him. You stole that steer? No, I, I didn't mean it like a thievery. I just wanted to tend to him. Where's the steer now? He he took him off. And Slate? Yeah. Which way? Well, he was uh, heading east along the river. It was Slate that beat you, huh? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, he, he must have had it all planned out, Marshal. Uh, I sure been a fool. Well, don't worry about that now. You better go up and see Doc. Well, Marshal, ain't you taken out after that Slate fella? Yeah, right away. Well, I ain't going to be sitting around no doctor's office... You sure you'll feel well enough to ride with us? How I feel ain't in it. I got to get old Beller back. I can show you the way, Marshal. All right, Charlie, you show us the way. Get the horses, Chester. You remember the trail so far, Charlie? This is the way we come, Marshal. I was sobered up some by that time. I remember it good. Well, sing out when we get near the place where Slate left you. Sure thing, Marshal. You'll be able to see it easy. Old Beller was stomping down the bush or something fierce. Yeah. Mr. Dillon? Yeah, Chester? It just don't make sense to me that he'd be bringing that steer this way. Oh, why not? Well, it's the opposite direction from Texas or the cattle trails or anything else. Seems to me if Slate wanted to leave steer, he'd take him back that way. You'll get back there. Well, I don't see how. Slate's probably heading for Wichita to sell it. Wichita? Along this cow trail? I think he'll hold up someplace, Chester. And then when he thinks it's safe, he'll move him along. He sure is going to a lot of trouble, ain't he, Mr. Dillon? A bell ox like that is worth a lot of money. Reckon you're right. Uh, up there, Marshal. Right up there a ways. You see all that trampled bunch of grass? Yeah. Well, that's the place. That's the place right there. Right there's where Slade left me for dead. Yeah, looks like there was a Rukas, all right. Yeah, I ain't very young and I ain't very strong, but I'll give him as good as I could. I'll take a closer look here. We gonna be able to follow the trail, Mr. Dillon? Yeah, Chester, we'll follow it right to the end. Holding up all right, Charlie. Don't worry about me, Marshal. Well, say, maybe we ought to stop and rest some, Mr. Dillon. Tell the truth, I wouldn't mind stretching my legs a little bit myself. Well, next time we reach some cover, we'll stop for a bit. You don't have to bother none about me. Yonder there, Mr. Dillon, right around their eyes, there's some trees. Oh, yeah. yeah and a couple of buildings, too. Hey, come on. You thinking Slate might be there? He might be. Don't see no ox. There's an old barn. We can come up behind it. Yeah. He might could be in there all right. Marshal, there's Slate coming out of the barn. Yeah. You stay back here, Charlie. Chester and I will go talk to him. Right, if he You stay back out of the way. Come on, Chester. Yes, sir.
You, Slate. It ain't worthwhile to come no closer, fellas. I want that steer. Well, now you ain't gonna get it. I want that steer, and I want you. Tell you how I feel about it, fella. I'll kill that steer before I give him up. Well, that's up to you. But I'll still take you back. It ain't that easy, fella. Hey, he's going back in the barn, Mr. Dillon. Yeah. Come on. He's right now. Look out. He's gonna shoot. You got him. Shot him right out of the saddle. Yeah. He's dead. Hey, you better find old Charlie and go get that steer. Yes, I'll go. Look there, Mr. Dillon. What? The barn. Smoke. Come on. That steer's in there. Yeah, that's what Slade wanted. Oh, maybe we can get to him along the side. We've got to get to that steer somehow. Well, we can get in there now. The whole place is on fire. Look, Mr. Dillon. Charlie back eating that steer out of there as nice as you please. Easy now. Easy. You're all right, old Miller. Well, how did you get there, Charlie? Well, I had a feeling he'd be needing me. Old Beller would, so I didn't do what you said, Marshal. I didn't stay back. It's a good thing you didn't. Are you all right? Uh, sure, I'm all right, Marshal. Old Beller's all right, too. Ain't you, boy? You could have got yourself burned up mighty easy, Charlie. No, Marshal. Old Beller led me out just like he leads them herds. Uh, we better get him back where he belongs. Yeah, that's right. I never should have took him. But, Marshal... Yeah, Charlie. Will you, will you speak a word for me? Will you tell Mr. Waddell that I took some care not to let no harm come to old Beller? Sure, Charlie. I'll speak a word for you. And I think your trail boss will listen. in Hollywood by Norman MacDonald stars William Conrad as Matt Dillon, U.S. Marshal. The story was specially written for Gunsmoke by Marion Clark with editorial supervision by John Meston. Featured in the cast were Ralph Moody, Ken Lynch, and Harry Bartell. Harley Bear is Chester, Howard McNear is Doc, and Georgia Ellis is Kitty. This is George Walsh inviting you to join us again next week when CBS Radio presents another story on Gunsmoke.